your son John and Pierre. Venerable Arsenio, no Perot, move for Christ. Venerable Saint Simon, Abbot of Boulogne. Martyr Bolinduk, in Baptism Mary of Persia. Venerable John and Gabriel of the Holy Mountain, and who were Georgian, and Saint Seraphim of the New. Of the holy and righteous hands of God, your community of all the saints, have mercy us to save us, for he is good and the lover of human God. Mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, water out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only I have sinned and done this evil in thy light, in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and victorious when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and insisted my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou revealed unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. My humbled bones shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A broken and humble heart God would not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation of whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls upon thy altar. to God in the highest, and on earth is good work towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee. We glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God of all Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, 
O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Thou who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou who takes away the sins of the world, accept our prayer. Thou who sits the right hand of God the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art Lord. O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every night will I bless thee and praise thy name, for every day, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, be merciful and heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have pled unto thee, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God, for with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto those who know thee. Thou art safe, O Lord, that we may be kept this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and friends who glorify thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever, despise not the works of thy hands. Unto thee is due praise, unto thee is due song, unto thee is due glory, to the Father, to the Son, Holy Spirit. Now endeavor to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all
who gave us birth to God and the Savior of the world, the healer of infirmities, I pray. From corruption of illness, raise me up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, Amen. Having gone down through Babylon from Judea, the children of old by their faith in the Trinity trod down the flame of the furnace while chanting, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. O save us. Having will to accomplish our salvation, O Savior, thou didst dwell in the womb of the Virgin, and didst show her to the world as a mediatress. mediatress. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Most holy Theophilus, save us. The dispenser of mercy, whom thou didst bear, O pure Father. Do thou implore to deliver from transgressions and defilements of the soul those who with faith cry out, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Most holy Theotokos, save us. A treasury of salvation and a fountain of incorruption is she who gave thee birth. A tower of safety and a door of repentance hast thou proved her to them that shout. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Most holy Theotokos, save us. For weakness of body and sickness of soul, fail of the locals. Do thou vouchsafe healing to those who with love draw near to thy protection, O Virgin, who for us gave us birth to Christ the Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, thou who from the angel didst receive the joy of the good tidings that God the Word uh, was to take flesh of thee. Rejoice, thou who didst bear the Creator of all within my womb, within thy womb. Rejoice, thou who didst give birth to God in the flesh, the Savior of the world. Rejoice, thou who didst preserve virginity and corrupted in childbirth. Rejoice, thou who didst receive gifts from the Magi and didst behold their worship of me. Who was born of thee and this 
hear the shepherd's most glorious word concerning him, and did slay all these things up in thy heart. Rejoice, thou who didst joyfully find the, Jesus, the child Jesus, the Son of God, in the temple among the teachers of the law. Rejoice, thou who didst bear the terrible pain of anguish at the cross, crucifixion, and the death of, the son, of thy Son and God. Rejoice, thou who, after such trials, was written a glad by the resurrection of sweet Jesus on the third day. Rejoice, thou who didst behold the ascension of thy Son and God in heavenly glory. Rejoice, thou who together, who together with the disciples of the Lord didst receive him, from him the Holy Spirit, which was sent down in the upper room in the, in the form of fiery tongues. Rejoice, thou that didst like, live like an angel on earth. Rejoice, thou that didst surpass in purity and holiness all the angelic chorus and all the choirs of saints. Rejoice, thou that art magnified with glory by the coming to thee of thy Son and God. Rejoice, thou that didst entrust thy soul into his holy hands. Rejoice, thou that gloriously was taken up bodily into heaven. Rejoice, thou that didst appear to the God beholding the apostles on the third, on the third day after thy repose. Rejoice, thou that, thou that art crowned in the heavens by the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, with the diadem of the eternal kingdom. Rejoice, thou that hast, and hast been enthroned in glory near the throne of all holy trinity. Rejoice, thou through whom God is reconciled to men. Rejoice, queen ruling over things heavenly and earthly. Rejoice, for nothing is impossible for thy intercession. Rejoice, for all that flee unto thee with, with faith are saved. Rejoice, for by thee the grieving find consolation, the ailing healing, the afflicted timely help. I then pray, pray thee, O mistress, full of grace, extinguish in me the sinful sorrow, and grant me the joy of salvation, consoling tears, constant compunction to repentance and perfect correction. Despise me not, O mistress, but mercifully receive this joyful Christ offered to thee by me, the poor one, and come thou to mine aid in the time of my helplessness, in the terrible hour when my soul will be parted from my cursed body. Come there, pray, to mine aid, and deliver me, who am guilty and sin, from the eternal punishment, that I appear not a joy to demons and food for the higher hyena. Yea, my mistress, permit not my soul to see the terrible and fearsome threat and torment of the demons prepared for sinners, but do thou go before me, and save me in thy servant in that terrible hour, that I may glorify thee unto the ages. Mine only hope and the immediate of my salvation. Amen. It is true. Our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we 
forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, the age of ages. And grant unto us, O Master, when we depart to sleep, repose of body and soul, and keep us from the dark sleep of sin and from every dark and passionate pleasure of the night. Subdue the impulses of the passions and quench the flaming arrows of the evil one, which are deceitfully loosed against us. Still the rebellions of our flesh and put to sleep all our earthly and material reasonings. And grant us, O Lord, a watchful mind, chaste thoughts, a sober heart and light sleep, free of every fantasy of Satan. 
Raise us up at the time of prayer, confronting thy commandments, and with the memory of thy judgment, held firmly within us. Grant that we may glorify thee all through the night, that we may sing and bless and glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. O most glorious ever virgin mother of Christ our God, bear our praise to thy Son and our God, then through thee he may save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge is the Son, my protection is Holy Spirit. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. Glory to you, Christ, our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, no. now and ever, and unto ages of the ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of our venerable and God-bearing Father, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and love you and kind. in this day, indeed, word, thought, and in all my senses. Through his grace, may God forgive and have mercy on us. Let us pray for our bishop Paul from Tifo and for Archbishop Alexander and all our brother clergymen in Christ. Lord have mercy. For the government of our country, our president, also with authority to our forces. Lord have for those who hate us and those who love us, Lord, have mercy. for those who are kind to us and serve us, Lord, have mercy. for those who ask us to pray for them and worthy do we be, Lord, have mercy. for those who enjoy persecution and for those who are captive, Lord, have mercy. for our departed fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, Lord, have mercy. for travelers by land and sea and air, Lord, have mercy. for those who lie in sickness. Son, Holy Spirit, 
now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, children, Christ who visibly stands here to hear your confession. Do not be ashamed, neither be afraid, nor hide anything from me, rather. Fear not to tell me all that you have done, since you have received forgiveness from our Lord Jesus Christ. For behold, his icon is before us, and I am only a witness, that I may bear witness before him while you tell me. If you hide anything from me, you shall have the greater sin. Take heed, therefore, that having come to the place of the physician, do not depart unhealed. And now, to the best of your ability, search your hearts, your souls, your minds, your consciences for anything you may have done that's offended the Lord, anything that has transgressed his commandments, things done both knowingly and unknowingly, intentionally or unintentionally. Be sorry also for unkindnesses shown to others and lack of compassion. Be sorry for lack of patience. Be sorry for lack of <coughs> concern. Remember that we're here to imitate Christ, to shine in his light, to make him real in this world. Be sorry also for things left undone that could have been done for his glory, lost opportunities to earn crowns from our Heavenly Father. Concerning all these things, you are bound henceforth to take care, since according to the Christian mystery of repentance, you are to be baptized with a second baptism, and God helping you, you must make a good beginning and a new fresh start. And above all, you must not take these things lightly or return to the same things, lest you become a cause of scorn to men. This is not becoming to Christians. To live honorably, righteously, and devoutly, and may God help you by His grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. O Lord God of salvation, your servants, who are merciful, compassionate, and long-suffering, who repent concerning our evil deeds, who do not desire the death of sinners, but they turn from the way and live, to yourself, now be merciful to your servants, and grant them an of repentance, pardon and remission of sins, forgiving them every transgression, whether committed voluntarily or voluntarily, reconcile your life with your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom is due to you, power and majesty, now and ever, and through the ages of ages. Amen. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, by the grace and compassion of his love for humankind, forgive you, my children, for all your transgressions, and I, as an unworthy priest, through his power given to me, forgive you and absolve you from all your sins, in the name of the Father and the Son.